got a little croissant from Mel's Bakery. Trying the ham and cheese one today. Very excited about it. So I wanted to do a little haul for you guys to share with you some things that I have been loving recently that have just been bringing joy to my life whenever I see them or use them. And I want to thank FabFitFun for sponsoring today's video. FabFitFun is a seasonal subscription box with full-size fashion, beauty, fitness, and lifestyle products. They are available in the US, Canada, and UK. I also love that each box raises funds and awareness for charity. FabFitFun and its members have donated over $1 million to nonprofits. And I think their spring theme is really cute because during the spring, everything is blooming all around you. And so their theme is to nurture yourself this springtime. And honestly, this box brought so much joy to my life and it did really allow me to take time to nurture myself, which I think is so important. Right now is so chaotic and crazy and stressful and scary. And this box just arriving at my doorstep with all of these fun goodies inside that have really just brought me small moments of joy throughout my day during this really tough time and I hope that it can do the same for you. So I'm gonna do a little haul slash unboxing of what I got from FabFitFun this month. I actually have already been using these products for about a week now and oh, I love them all. So I actually have a real life experience with these products and I'm so excited to share them with you guys because I love them. Okay, so the first thing that I got in my box was this little bag and it has this really cute ombre pattern on it where it goes from white to pink, which I think is really cute. This is a great bag for anything, but I love to use it for my produce when I go to the grocery store. It reduces my plastic use. So I just literally grab my vegetables and fruits, put them right in here. So it's super environmentally friendly and sustainable, which I just love. And at the same time, it's super cute. It would also be a great bag to bring to the beach as well, just to put some goodies and snacks inside. I love this thing and I've been getting so much use out of it recently. Next up, we have what might be my favorite thing in the box, which is these slippers from Splendid. I love these slippers so much and I've been wearing them literally 24 seven, which you might be able to tell from my little toe prints in here. These are the best thing ever, especially since right now so many of us are stuck working from home and staying home all the time so these are the perfect thing to wear while you're just lounging around the house or if you want to stay business on top you can still be comfy on the bottom with your shoes i love that they're slip on slides and i just love this light pink baby pink color i think they're so cute they just remind me of little clouds and they feel like little clouds when you're walking around in them the next thing i got in my box is this grown alchemist body cream oh, you guys, this stuff smells so good. And not to mention, it comes in this really cute and aesthetically pleasing packaging. I just think this is very chic. What I've been doing is I keep this in my bedside table drawer and I've just been putting this on right before I go to sleep at night and it has such a nice scent. It's very calming. So this body cream has become part of my nighttime routine. It smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. Let me try to describe it. You know what? I don't need to describe it because it says the scent on the front. <laughs> it's mandarin and rosemary leaf. Wow. The next thing I got in my box was these coasters. I love little things like this for your room or your house. I just think they're these small details that just make you so happy. I've been using these all the time. I have two on my bedside table and then I keep one on my desk for my coffee or tea. And I also have been putting them underneath my candles in my room. It just creates a really cute little thing for my candles to sit on. Just love the woven and the white. Love my coasters. The next thing I got in my box was this bath gel. This is from the Islands of Italy brand and it's in a peach champagne fragrance. You guys, this smells so good. This has been a very welcome addition to my shower recently because I feel like I never really buy fun or nice shower products. I always buy the same thing. I buy like my Aveeno body lotion and my head and shoulders shampoo. Don't tell anyone. But yeah, this has been making my shower experience so much more luxurious. And last but not least, 
I got this bag in my box. I am obsessed with this. This is an Alice and Olivia little weekender duffel slash tote bag. First of all, I just love the print. Like it's adorable. It has this daisy print all over it, which is just so cute, especially for spring. I love that you can use it with like the over the shoulder straps or it actually has a crossbody strap as well. I can't wait to take a little weekend road trip and bring this bag because it fits everything that you need without being too big and overbearing. I'm so excited about that. So yeah, that's everything that I got in my FabFitFun box this month. It's such a fun way to try out new products and experience things that you might not normally buy for yourself. So I highly recommend having some well-deserved self-care delivered to your door. Speaking of fun things that have brought some joy to my life, I wanna share with you guys some really cute clothing and fashion items that I've been loving recently. You guys are getting not one, but two hauls. So let's get into my clothing haul. Has anyone else watched that TikTok where she shows you how to do this hair twist thing and tried to practice it? Because I'm just so bad at doing this hair clip thing. Okay, sure. Anyway, I don't really have any place to wear these items yet. However, post vaccine and post COVID, I am ready to stunt on the world in some new clothing items, let me tell you. These are almost like optimistic clothing items, if you know what I mean. So this first one, I just love so much. I found this while I was vintage shopping with my roommates at this place in New York City called Beacon's Closet. If you live in New York, you should definitely check it out. It's a great vintage store. And I saw this. She was sitting behind a bunch of other handbags all by herself and she called my name. And I just think she's perfect. Giving me major Sex in the City vibes. I'm watching all of the Sex in the City seasons right now and it's really inspiring me style-wise. I just love the details, all the buttons, and I love this orange color, this bright tangerine color. Actually, it really reminds me of our new G Polish shade from our Madrid collection. And then I just love the detail of the beads. Anyways, just adore her and she's perfect and mwah. Next up, we have this tank top that I acquired recently, which I also found at a vintage store and I just am in love with her. It's this halter tank top and it says Hawaii 78 and it's vintage from the 70s. I love, I love, I love the butterflies. And I just love this bright teal shade. I just, I'm really excited to wear this in like the hot summer months. This is really an optimistic piece because it's still quite cold in New York. Yeah, I'm really excited to wear this piece with some cut off shorts and uh, what's another summer thing? A, a popsicle and a, I don't know. Next, we have two slip dresses that I've been loving recently, this black and this navy one. This navy one, Revolve sent me, and it's by the brand House of Harlow, and I absolutely love this dress. It is really giving me 90s feelings with the high neckline and this really just pretty subtle print on the dress. You can only kind of see that it actually has a print on it in certain light, which I think is really cool. It's sort of a floral print. And I just think the color of this dress is so pretty. It's like a dark navy blue, but it's also a little bit purpley. I just think it's really pretty. It gives me Cruel Intentions vibes, if you know what I mean. This dress would be really pretty layered with like a bunch of long gold necklaces, I feel like, because it has that high neckline. You could also throw a t-shirt over this or under it, or you could put a sweater on top of it and kind of just wear it like a skirt, like a long midi skirt. I also wore it recently for one of our going out nights, which is basically where me and my two roommates dress up, like full dress up, to go out into the living room and <laughs> play some music, have a little dance party. So we've been doing that to keep ourselves sane recently, you know, because you can't really go out anywhere, but we've been loving dressing up for that. And so I've been wearing just some fun dresses. So I wore that dress for one of our going out nights. Here's a picture of that. And next up, we have this other slip dress. Actually, I got this at the same thrift store. 
that I got the handbag, Beacon's Closet. And this is a black, gorgeous slip dress and it's by Zara. And I got it for like, I think $14. It was a really good deal and it's in great condition. And my favorite part about this dress is it has these buttons going up the side and I just think they're so pretty and the buttons lead down to a little slit that's at the bottom again this is the type of thing where you could wear a white t-shirt under it I think and make it a little bit more casual I wore this also on one of our going out nights pictured here I've been also loving this fur coat that revolves at me faux obviously this is by the brand Tala Rosa and I just think it's so fun I didn't have a jacket like this and now I've been loving throwing this over one of the slip dresses and it just makes it so much more dramatic I also get a lot of sex in the city vibes from this coat because Carrie is always wearing fur coats which I think is really fun and last but not least is this top, this blouse that I found at and other stories. I really wanted a top with this Peter Pan neckline and I found this one that I just think is so cute because you can wear it a lot of different ways. You can actually layer a cardigan underneath it and just have this Peter Pan collar sort of peeking out, which I think is really cute. It has little puffed sleeves. She gives me very chic, like Puritan Massachusetts feelings. Sakya. That is it for my little haul of fun things that have made me happy recently. Hope you guys enjoyed checking those out. Maybe give you some inspiration. Maybe it didn't. Either way, it's cool with me. Hey guys, it's dinner time. Did you see that? <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. Wow, that's a cool little slide in. Tonight. Can you introduce your special guest? This is my special guest. You guys probably know her by now. Her name's Cicely Ann Hunter, and Hi. she's a baddie. Tonight, we are making chimichurri shrimp with barley, pepper, and tomatoes. Hopefully, this is what it's gonna look like. Let's Focus, pray. there we go. Hi, vlog. Our extended family. My grandma used to do this to like. <laughs> you look like a It's actually so funny. Or something. You're oh. like a, like You think that's done? Looks perfect. So I think we're ready to plate. Let's plate it. Let's plate it. G, put the rice down. Right? Stop. Right? What are we making? You're famous. We're making fish chowder. Woohoo! I have my fish, potatoes. Zoom cooking lesson with the queen herself. Cooking queen. The trilogy of carrots, onion, and celery going in the pot with butter. And the final result. We made a fish chowder with haddock and carrots, onions, celery, and potatoes, and it looks amazing. I'm so excited. 
to eat this tonight. It's my mom's recipe and it is so delicious. She makes it all the time. And I always thought it was extremely difficult to make, but it was a lot easier than I thought. So that was so fun to do a Zoom cooking lesson with her. Here is the end result of the chowder I made with my mom on Zoom. Hey guys, it's Sunday night and I wanted to show you what I like to do when I want to give my skin a little extra love on a self-care Sunday. So here is my self-care Sunday skin routine. First, I start out with the Biba Gentle Cleanser. Now that my skin is all clean, I'm going to go in with the Biba Holistic Detoxifying Mask with Charcoal. I'm going to apply this and then leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm back! Time to wash this off. Next, I'm going in with Biba's Plant Stem Cell and Peptide Serum. Don't forget the neck. And last but not least, when I want a little extra moisture, I go in with the Biba Cream Barrier in the Ultimate Facial Hydration. Now I'm all nice and shiny, and to finish off, I'm going to go in with the Biba Lip Treatment. It's a really moisturizing lip oil. And that's my little at-home facial for self-care Sunday.